Hello YouTube! Happy Sunday! It is I, Banded Wendy. This is part six of my question and answers. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Somebody uh, made a mistake by somehow posting on their Facebook page that they were going to have gastric bypass. Now everyone's asking them why, why, why? That's so dangerous. Don't do it. You don't need gastric bypass. You're fine the way you are. She's having surgery because she has a, 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 a disc disease and to avoid further surgeries or complications she needs to lose weight. Uh, she's pissed that everyone thinks it's a cosmetic thing and uh, she's not sure why other people choose weight loss surgery but for her it's not for cosmetics. And she feels like everyone is trying to sabotage her decision and make her change her mind. And I feel like now I'm trying so hard to tell myself that I'm doing the right thing for me but at the same time I don't want the possibility of losing friends or making my family mad at me. Did you go through any anything like this ever before? I did not, but I'm going to ask the YouTube community who's watching to make a response video if you did. Um, my boyfriend is seven years post-op gastric bypass and um, I chose weight loss surgery mostly for cosmetic. My mother has had uh, is a breast cancer survivor, and my grandmother is a colon cancer survivor, and my grandfather died of lung cancer. So there is plenty of cancer in my family, and when you make a decision to have weight loss surgery, you dig really deep, and you look at everything. So outside of wanting to like what I saw in the mirror, I definitely knew that I needed to lose weight to avoid, via my best effort, not to have cancer. Um, I'm very fortunate that because my boyfriend had gastric bypass that I learned a lot about weight loss surgery. And me, for me personally, I learned that gastric bypass was not the route for me to go. Um, but I did know that weight loss surgery works and I put my, um, my vet on the lap band surgery. All the people that I told about my weight loss surgery have been nothing but supportive. Um, they did not make me second guess or question my decision. So I cannot answer this question for you, but what I can say is you have to be your number one cheerleader on this journey. And when you've made the decision to have weight loss surgery for whatever reason that it is, doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Doesn't matter if you lose friends. Doesn't matter if your family gets mad, they're always going to be your family. And if you lose friends, guess what? They weren't the right friends for you to have anyway. So um, I hope um, that maybe you'll get some response videos about others who have gone through the same situation. And I hope that uh, you, you have had your surgery by now. Uh, this question was posted a while ago to me. And that you're making videos and that we can all learn something from you. Um, so that's that question. Um, I'm not really trying that hard. Someone says they're not really trying that hard. But you motivate me in every which way imaginable. Thank you. I really want to get serious, so I'm wondering, do you think a cleanse is a good way to start off? And I do need to start taking multi do I need to start taking multivitamins? I've said this before too. This journey is your journey. This journey is my journey, and her journey and his journey and everybody else's journey in between. First part of anything is acceptance of where you are and recognizing where you are. The next step uh, in, some, in changing something is uh, finding a plan, finding a way, making a change. Um, you have control of your destination. And if it's the physical part, get a trainer, get a workout buddy, do a DVD, get it on a Wii Fit, whatever you gotta do, do it at home if you're embarrassed to go to the gym, whatever. Get outside and walk the dogs, start that way. Do ten, 10 minutes worth of exercise three times a day if you have to. If it's a mental portion, I've said it time and time again, this journey is a, definitely a mental struggle and a mental challenge. There are therapists out there in the world specifically to, educated to help people with their mental challenges. There's no reason to be ashamed or embarrassed to need to seek some mental therapy. So if you're struggling and you cannot get yourself motivated to move and do what you need to do, you can find help. Again, the first part of realizing, the first part of getting help is realizing that you need help. And as far as your multivitamins go, my boyfriend seven years post-op, he doesn't take them. Uh, every once in a while he'll snack on mine and he's healthy. 
I'm, I'm, I'm against not taking them. I take my multivitamins every day. And your surgeon's rules are that you should take multivitamins. So you're really just cheating yourself if you're not taking your vitamins. And if you say, I don't like the way they taste, find a different one. Try another one. Keep looking until you find something you can take. Otherwise, no one's hurting yourself. Nobody's hurting you except for yourself. Um, and as far as do I think you should do a cleanse to get started, that's totally up to you. What you need to do is get back on track, and what you need to do is follow the rules your doctor gave you. And by doing that, you'll get back on track. You know, I like the detox. If you want to do a detox, do it. But again, it's your journey, right? Where do you happen to find your Greek yogurt? You can find Greek yogurt everywhere now. Uh, Yoplait has a Greek yogurt that's pretty much in every major grocery store. Whole Foods has Greek yogurts. Uh, Sprouts Farmer's Market has Greek yogurts. I found my original Greek yogurt at Trader Joe's. I went there on Friday for the first time in a long time and I bought eight Greek yogurts. I love my Trader Joe's Greek yogurt. So, Ralph's and Albertsons and Kroger's and Safeway and uh, uh, Jewel and Osco uh, and Stater Brothers and, you know, um, uh, Super Shop and Stop and Winn Dixie, um, Publix. They all have them. No matter where you are in the country, you can find Greek yogurt. And uh, being that I forgot to look at my time, I'm going to answer one last question. Do you have the Realize band? No, I do not. I have the Allegren um, AP band. Um, and I have 10 cc's. I have a 10 cc band, and I have 6.25 cc's in my band. Um, and uh, when I come back, I'll talk about restriction. So I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Do something good for yourself. Bye.